Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone X2 or Poco X2. Now, it's been a few days we've been covering the stock ROM, doing gaming on it, we've been coming, covering MIUI ROM, but it's about time we got to AOSP ROM for this wonderful device. Now, the device is great, but the development is also great, but it's not that stable. I have experienced issues while flashing different ROMs, different recoveries. I'll talk about it in this particular video. But in today's video, we're going to install Corvus OS 14.0 ruinous official updated on the 8th of february so this is a february build comes with the latest security patch and all sorts of bells and whistles but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community instagram facebook and twitter you can join us on all the social media platforms and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort Please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. let's get going. Alright, so first things first, we'll have a look at the change log, what they have to say and then I'll talk about my experience. So. It says synced with latest source, added always on display in ambient display, updated fingerprint to Feb 21, SE Linux enforcing enabled smart charging. And it does say if you are coming from any custom vendor or any custom vendor ROM or MIUI Android 11, flash the vendor for your device from here. Now this is where I did have problem. The latest vendor is based on Android 11 and that didn't really work well. I had to you know go around asking in the group and people will really helpful. You have to use the 12.0.1.0 vendor. At the same time for you to get Corvus successfully booting, you actually have to use a special version of TWRP that is the orange fox. I'll link all the files in the description but uh, you know now that we are talking about files let me tell you everything that we need. Now in this case we will need the orange fox recovery which you have to flash first and then when you are in recovery you will need the ROM file. I'm using the gapps build so if you're using a vanilla version or if there is a vanilla version you can flash gapps separately. So Corvus OS you know gapps build 12.0.1.0 firmware Okay, that's two files. You will need Majisk if you need root access and you will need DFE if you want to stay decrypted. Those are the four files that you will need and you need to of course have an unlocked bootloader because without which you will not be able to install TWRP. Now, once you have all that taken care of, remember as always, it is very, very critical for you to make sure all your data is backed up. Now, as you will see in this particular video, I will be wiping, wiping everything. You can choose to wipe or not wipe internal storage that is completely your call but at times what happens in this particular phone the poco x2 when you do a format data from twrp any twrp for that matter the there is some sort of a bug or something that after rebooting to recovery when you connect to pc you will not be able to access internal storage so at that stage you will need a otg pen drive is what we will be using as well so without further ado one last thing that i need to inform you is that you need to have more than 50 percent battery so once you've taken care of everything you know you're ready for flashing so let's go ahead and begin the flashing process now i am already on corvus so i'll just you know press restart and then go to recovery but if you are an MIUI or something, you need to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo, this one, and then you can release all the buttons and you should be good to go. All right, so we are decrypted, but I'll show you the first step just for your reference. Go here, now this is to decrypt. So what you need to do is you need to go to manage partitions, select data, tick mark, do a format data and type in yes and select the tick mark and it will format your internal storage. All right. Now, after this, you need to go here, reboot to recovery. Now, once it has rebooted to recovery, all you need to do is you need to copy the firmware, Corvus OS and all the files to your phone's internal storage. I'll do that and I'll show you. So what we'll do here is Dalvik data internal storage cache. We'll wipe everything. Okay. And now I'll quickly go ahead and copy all the files to this particular phone. All right, now the reason you see this pen drive over here is because there is some sort of bug. I did, you know, wipe internal storage and I connected it to the computer, but it's not detecting the internal storage. So I'll sort of do it from the OTG pen drive. So over here, go to mount and select USB OTG. 
Now remember we've wiped everything. So you select your USB OTG. Okay, first select the firmware, add to queue, then select the ROM. And if you want to stay decrypted, you can flash DFE or Magisk for root. Swipe to confirm flash. Now as you can see, this is flashing. So, you know, over here, I've kept it pretty simple for you guys. If you are on this particular Orange Fox recovery version, you just need to wipe everything as I did, have a USB OTG available and a pen drive, and then you can just flash these two files and you should be good to go. Now, this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be very, very patient when that happens. Now, once the flash is done, what we're gonna do is we'll quickly boot into system. We'll have a quick look at Corvus OS. And as I have been saying earlier, there is actually a gaming review coming for each and every ROM very, very soon. I'm just figuring out the final stages of how to analyze the gameplay, the temperature, and what, you know, all gadgets we need and stuff like that. But yes, gaming reviews will start flowing in from next week onwards. Let's wait for the ROM to flash. It'll take two to three minutes for the first flash. All right, now as you can see over here, everything has been flashed successfully. We'll just wipe the cache and reboot system. Now we'll have a look at the beautiful Corvus logo or the boot animation, whatever you want to call it. Let's wait for it to boot. All right, so that's the new Corvus OS boot animation. The first boot will take anywhere between one to two minutes. So let's wait for it to boot. We will skip the setup and then we will have a look at the OS. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen of Corvus OS. Now, the first impressions, right? That's the launcher. To the left, we do have the Google feed. So pretty slick and amazing stuff over here. All right. Now, if you have a look, we just have 15 and 116 application that the phone is supplied with some basic Google stuff there. You do have a basic camera application, which is always appreciated. It's OK if you. Oh, looks like this is the NX camera that surprised me. Yes, that's definitely an X camera. And that's amazing, right? You do have an X camera built in and let's see if the portrait mode works. Wow. And what about video recording? It's a little slow. Of course, what do you expect? A 700 series chipset. So over here, all the three cameras are working. That's beautiful, guys. And as far as recording is concerned, you do have 1080p 60 FPS. So that in my books is a something really, really great and really, really nice. Because if you're going to supply the ROM with the NX camera built in, I mean, that's half the headache gone because then your camera worries will be gone. So that's great. Now let's actually go to settings over here. Let's actually go to about and let's see all the details here. So Android version 11, that's the name of the build, Ruinous. I hope I'm pronouncing it fine. That's uh, the name of the maintainer. 664 is our variant, 5th, 5th, 5th February security patch. And the kernel is the reflex kernel over here. So everything pretty smooth, pretty slick, and pretty latest as far as you know, Corvus OS is concerned. Yeah, so unfortunately we don't have the built-in FPS counter, but that's completely fine. We do have a screen recorder and all the other thing. Now, if you actually go to the settings menu, you do have the Raven themes over here. So you do have a lot of customization that is available and you do also have the Raven's Liar where you can customize a hell lot of things. That's what Corvus OS is known for and you will have a game mode as well. So all in all, you know, this was an easy, easy way to install Corvus OS without getting a lot of problems. And uh, I'm surprised that it comes with the NX camera and it has a ton of features. It'll be very, very interesting to do gaming on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flash Majesk. I'm going to unlock the 90 FPS mode. And then because this is a 120 Hertz display, we're going to play PUBG on a live stream from Monday and we're going to play PUBG on a gaming test and see how it goes. Let me know in the comment section, how did you find this video? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.